Man, has this week been never a crap here with rain. <laughs> Anyways, how's she hanging today? Pretty good here, Tubes. Had a little project I started. Started raining. I got uh, an upper and a lower uh, table mount kind of thing going for uh, a table for, you know, like the barbecue and stuff to go on here. And man, just this week with rain has been stupid. So anyways, that's as far as I got. I got some lumber done. <sighs> enough for a top, enough for a bottom. Some 4x4 four four posts for like the legs. I'm going to leave these long so I can maybe put like a little roof kind of thing down maybe off it if I can get uh, that fancy. Uh, just so when you're out barbecuing or whatever out here, then uh, you can, uh, you know, not potentially get drenched. But I'm getting drenched this week, so I've been putting that project off. Um, boy, lots of other projects I want to do too here, and it's just like, no, we did get this generator shed up there, which is good. From down here on the pad. Oh, but this week, still raining, still crappy. It's been like a whole week of rain. It's like, what's going on here? Supposed to get nicer, but uh, not yet. <laughs> Soon though. Anyways, I figured, uh, well, this open here. Uh, maybe we'll get the uh, console <coughs> off the uh, 800 here. Take all the gauges and all that fun stuff out. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, maybe get the get the console off and I can at least get it sandblasted on my cabin and primed and painted and ready to go back on. Working on the hood still, I got uh, the grills done, primed and painted. The uh, top flap, gas flap thingy is sandblasted, primed and painted. The uh, hood is sandblasted on the inside of the hood and uh, the little you know wings that go down the front. Not the outside yet, though. I ran out of time the other day, and then it just started raining, 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 so I can't do that. But uh, anyways, let me grab some tools, and we'll go to the uh, container here and see if we can get this, uh, see if we can get this console apart. Getting the steering wheel off, though? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to successful with that or not. I do have some pullers here. If I can get onto it with a puller, I'll try, but other than that, I don't know. Let's go see. Well, I guess we'll start with the steering wheel. I don't know how easy this is going to be able to get off of here. I might have to uh, figure out what size that is and uh, put on the electric impact. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad at all. Hey, if the wheel comes off that easy, we're going to be looking good here. Something tells me, though. And it's going to be on here pretty darn good. Okay. Now. We'll try tapping that with a hammer, maybe. I imagine this is on some kind of spline. Uh, nice to get this washer off of here. Kind of dark in here. I might have to get my lights on. There's the washer off. Well, that feels pretty solid. I know that's not a hammer, mind you. We'll go grab a, a hammer and I'll maybe put the lights on here. We we'll get us a bit more light. All right. There's nothing really to hold to on this. Bugger the paint up too bad, but that could be repainted. Um, I wonder if I can get a three-jawed puller on there. I do have one of those. It's kind of a big fella. I do have a smaller one if I need I can go get it. Let me grab that maybe. Now, these things are never fun to, to hook up. Um, I don't think it would be beneficial to put the nut back on. More. Should be able to technically grab it with this though. Oh, man. 
Well, I'm getting her here. I need another set of hands. Okay, <laughs> are we on at all? It's not very straight again there, but probably won't need a whole lot of pulling. More than I thought. I don't really want to heat it. I knew it wouldn't take much. Oh, it's scary. You know it scared me. <laughs> a little bit. Hey, there we go. Oh, there's a spring under there, too. I didn't realize. I wonder why they have a spring under there. Springy action? Huh. Okay, look at the blue under there, too, right? From the... Uh... I don't know why I painted blue. No idea. Not too sure. I'm going to have to get that throttle rod out with it, too, I guess. I'll probably have to disconnect it on the other side. And these are great big giant Phillips there. I don't know if I have anything that big. But uh, technically I might not have to get those right off right now. It should just all come out of there, but I'm going to have to get that uh, throttle rod out, I guess. Well, this did turn into more work than I was kind of expecting. <laughs> uh, doesn't it always, though? I gotta get the battery box off to get underneath to get where that throttle rod comes out. So I gotta take all this stuff off of here and try to get it out of the way. Put these back on so I don't lose them. It's a solenoid I'm working on here, and it's of course attached to the battery box. Which now I might as well get the battery box off and try to uh, clean it up and paint it, I guess, too. Man, I'm gonna have this thing stripped right down before you know it. The only really other thing left is kind of the body of the tractor and oh, lots of other parts of this. <laughs> lots of other parts yet. Yeah. That's not exactly right having the bungee port holding your battery in, but uh, now should that was just an extra washer. Should. <laughs> Should. Get its way out there. Tangled up on everything else, of course. There we go. Nope, there's still a spring there. Oh my goodness. Okay, battery box is out. It's quite a mess, this thing, though. I don't know what's. Uh... Well, there's the original battery box. I'm presuming. Maybe it's time for a new one. Boy. Okay. So yeah, there's the mechanism all down here for the throttle, how it works. Um, I don't know, uh, oh boy, what the best thing would be to take off here. I'm to get this thing out and give it a good pressure wash too, because it's pretty grind up down through here with all the ears of it kind of running crappy and I think I'm gonna just take that whole bracket off of there. I don't know, you can't, probably can't see that. No, you can't, okay, hang on. Yeah, this uh, solar is out of the way. This is just to get that throttle rod out. Man, a lot of work. Um, okay, so there's two bolts there look like a 916s. I'll just take that right off of there maybe. get this out to pressure wash it but uh, man you got all this junk in here too you don't really want to blow stuff all over that right this should uh, come right off there nice and easy hopefully yeah sweet those might be a half inch I'm saying console
Hopefully that doesn't just leave a hole I can put the bolts in I guess again. Very tight. Not super tight. And that should release this whole thing here. Well, the whole this mechanism. Through the frog there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. So that could just come right with that thing. I'm gonna put these bolts back in. Just for one, so I don't lose them in two, so I don't get junk down in there. All right, now there's two bolts that hold it onto this steering box on either side here too. I'm not quite ready to do those yet. I gotta get all the gauges out of here first. And that was something I wasn't looking forward to. But I guess we gotta do it. Oh no. How oh, no. That's not good news. I forgot that I'm gonna have to take out this stupid temperature sensor again here and then end up losing my coolant. I'm not liking that too much. Everything else should be good. Oh man. Because I gotta take it out of the block here now. That sucks. I don't really want to drop coolant all over. I guess I'll put my bucket under and get it draining. Oh, well, while that's working, there's other stuff we can take off here. This ignition switch has to come out. It'll just kind of hang there, I guess. Oh, man. A lot of work getting all this out of here. Just to repaint it. But that's good. And, um, yeah. Got to work on all these wires here. Try not to mess all that up. It's not terrible bad, but maybe take a picture because I'll probably forget. That and the amp gauge can come out then. The oil pressure line, I think it's got a little fitting guy up there that should take right off. There's just a bunch of tiny little screws in there that I gotta get into. Fun stuff. All right, well, the amp gauge, I guess we'll work on first here. Uh, I don't know if I selected the right length of wire. It's going down to there. All right, uh, sorry, not length of wire. Get in there, anywho. Uh, okay, let's try a nine mil on that. Oh man, I'm gonna need the. Uh, The extra length, though, I think. Yeah, I can't reach for that. Okay. Fun. Let's just see if this is the right one. Well, first of all, I can't see it. It isn't helping a lot. Nope. What the heck side are those? Oh, no, that's not right. 11 30 seconds is probably too sweet. What the heck's going on here? It's not like 10 mil, is it? No. No. Nine. Doesn't quite seem to fit. What the heck did I use then? Yeah, seven sixteenths. What did I do with it? I had one out here somewhere. Uh oh. Looking right at it. <laughs> oh, it's the way. Boy, that uh, that can't be a seven sixteenths. No. No, it's not. What the heck size is this? This is so weird. 
I don't know if it's metric or what it is. Three eighths, I guess. Well, I didn't get them very tight. That's lovely. Now, trying to get these off of here. This is where I like the, uh, the little horseshoe attachment things. Take those right off then. I just have to take right off now. <clears throat> now I got a tiny little marker pen here. Right on their out side. Out side. Okay. That guy is here. It's a little, I don't know what that is, holder, I guess. And that should pop up the amp gauge. Boom! Just like that. Now, I could leave this hooked up here too, so it'd be easier for me to. Remember, because it's going to be a wee while until I get this painted up here and ready to go again. So I think I'll do that. And that was the outside one. It should be a bigger one coming right from the alternator actually but it seemed to not fry itself so that's good I'm, I'm happy with that it's basically just for the amp gauge you can run it either way because you know if you run the huge wire up to here I mean it's the same difference as running it down to the solenoid where I blocked it off and then it's all going from there to the charge and then from the solenoid it's just going up here to uh, to the gauge okay there is a couple of wires here for the switch, the light switch, which isn't in the greatest looking of conditions itself. So I'm just going to grab my, uh... well I'm not going to grab it because this little kit doesn't have a slotted, these are slotted on here. I'm going to go get a screwdriver now. Man, it's still draining there. Holy smokes. It's uh, quite stiff, and those little connectors aren't the greatest. Oh man! Ugh. Man, these ones have the slots on them. A little nicer. Now this one, I don't know if I get it or not. Totally blocking your guys' view up here too. I ah, can't see it. Oh, they are uh, Phillips too. That might help round it off even faster. Round it off even faster, what I tell you. Okay, well, let's... That's the one that's going down to the, to the, to the light. I might have to get a new... Uh, a new switch, anyways. Can't even quite see where I am here. Cutting wire in three, 
two, one. <laughs> gotta run a new wire. I gotta run a new switch anyway, so not a huge problem. <laughs> no, that's okay. All right. So the oil. oil one should just come right off. It looks like it's just like a little compression fitting. It's pretty tiny though. I don't know if I have a small enough wrench for that guy. It's a 3 8 I got here. That might be it. Yeah, good. That should just pop out. Ooh, that's tiny, eh? Man. Tiny little compression fitting. And smaller again. I nice to get that dash all done up too. It's all part of the hood, right? But man, what a nuisance taking it off. Oh man. I'm honestly, really haven't had a whole lot of fun yet. It's really tiny that one. Let's go into say uh, 516s. Should get it. And I'm gonna take the other thing off and right out through the whole top. The temperature sensor one. Hmm. Thought that was the right size. How much is that super tight? Maybe. Okay, this one I'm going to go to the other side for. No uh, washers on this one. that one. I'll put him uh, put him back together here so we don't lose the, the nuts. Okay now this uh, this one can probably just turn off the yeah. hour meter proof meter pull it right off like that that's good for now. All right, last but not least. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we'll see. Uh, that one should probably go back in the block here. The bracket's a little warped. That's one over there. We'll see what turns out here. I bet you the whole thing will turn out. Yeah, the whole thing's going to turn. Of course it will. Of course it will. Why would, it, why would it not? Um, well, I don't really want to take that whole thing out. Somewhere here, I've got a adjustable. I could maybe hold that with. I've got another one here, I guess. I don't have a wrench. Not as big as that one here, so. See if we can just spin this guy and how much coolant's gonna come out. This thing was actually whacking up too. I might uh, need to change this stupid thing again. It was not working sometimes when so cold. And it was definitely hot. I don't know if I like that a whole lot. Seems a lot tighter coming out than I remember. I do have the thread goop on it. It wasn't leaking, so that's good. It's a little bit tighter than I remember. The thread goop kind of dries, but it stays a little gummy. So 
you know, get you a good seal. Apparently there's six miles of thread. Hopefully no coolant comes out here. Now we're good. What are y'all worried about? Good. I drained it out. Why that's not working, I don't know. They are pretty delicate. It's clean and everything, so I don't, I don't know. All right, now we gotta work on this guy. Oh boy, another one. I don't know if you can hear it. It is like haily, snowy, freezy crap out there right now. Like, come on. Really? Tomorrow it's supposed to be like 20 degrees or something. It's supposed to be nice. Gotta get a lot of sandblasting done and a lot of painting done, so. Need to uh, get at this stuff. Don't know if I'll get her back on the tractor now this year, but we'll get her painted up anyways. Got to figure out what I want to do with that battery box too, if it's worth maybe just getting a new one. Let's see if I can order one maybe. Bloody expensive though. <laughs> but, okay, there's all that ready to come out. Oh, this has to get nipped here if I can. Okay. Over in there too. I drop a little screws. Just like so. All right, I think that's just like a basically a generic gauge. Not a lot to this. I need to put on the seat here, anyways. Oh, there, put the. Uh, Bracket and stuff back on here too, and uh, bolts, washers, of course. Not sure why it quit working. I should boil some water maybe and uh, just make sure it's working. Like, it seemed to work fine, and then, oh. And it wasn't working again, so I don't know what the deal is with it. Okay, that. Now, let's zoom you back out here. And we've got a uh, big bolt here we've got to take out, I think they're an 11, 5 8, 11, 16, somewhere around there. Let's see what I got here. I'm thinking a 5 8. Oh, bigger. Oh, boy. Oh, I got the 11 out somewhere. Where did I put it? I was taking out something. Oh, man, why is it always the one I need? I can't find it again. Got to be here somewhere. It's not on the ratchet, so that sucks. <laughs> okay. Search him, I guess. Yeah, it was on the seat. On the seat of the tractor. There's a uh, crease fitting in here on this console. I wonder if that would. Uh, or on the steering box. I wonder if that would help make it steer a little better. I don't like this coming out so tight. Okay. The one side is free. Except it's holding on to my socket. I better get to the other side to get that one. All right, this one's a little bit buried in behind here. Um, I 
could have been a grease in here, oil and crap. It didn't have a super nice, but you know. Oh, come on. Stanley tools aren't bad, but they don't stay in the direction you start them in. What the heck was that that just fell? Hmm. Oh, come on. Okay, so this console does come apart. I don't know what I'll need to pull it apart again, like between the two sections. Oh boy. That's just dirt falling out, I think. That might have been a washer, actually. <laughs> On the floor and gone forever. Okay. Okay. Should all just pull right up and out of here. And we're good. Okay. Well, there she be. She's all ripped off now. I know this steering box, another problem, has a lot of problems too. I think it needs new gears inside. There's gears and you know left and right in there for the steering. It needs uh it needs redone, I think. We got them so far adjusted now just to try to keep it, you know, from getting sloppy and it's it's got no adjustment left, so whether to see if I get a new worse or scrap one or new one's like wicked expensive. Don't think I'm gonna do that, but I don't know. This uh, could be the issue too, why it's tough steering. Maybe inside of there, it probably all dried out. I don't know, I'd have to maybe tear that off too. So then I'm gonna have to take off, get that out of the way. I'm gonna have to take off my resistor again and the little, the little block there, and that's about, that's what it is. And then this, of course, bolts down right to the frame, which is covered in goop to get these arms off again. I think it was one of these that was kind of stripped too. It wasn't the greatest, so that all comes as part of one of those. I'm doing that because there's teeth on it with, you know, like this, and then it comes up to the shaft here that go down to the steering rod thingy. I'll see what parts are costing, and I don't know, a lot of work. I'm <laughs> getting that off. I might make it steer a little nicer too, though. But anyways, I guess that's it for today. But as far as I can go, this thing, man, I don't know. Maybe I have to order a new one of those too. That's the original underneath of the box. It's just been battery acid leak on it or something probably over the years, right? And that's, that's pretty hard on things, so. But anyways, there we go. Thanks again for watching. We'll get these all later. And uh, try to get this thing painted up. Get her back together, man oh man. But I should look at the steering box too, I guess, while I got it off. I'm in no hurry to drive this thing, right? So, and I mean, we've got the engine done, it's good, it's running good. So that's about all we need to do right with that. But, this is pretty grind up in here, man. But I think if you take this off, you're gonna open up a big cavity <laughs> into the engine there, so be, or into the transmission there, so it might be kind of interesting to see that too. But we'll, we'll think about that project, I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. What a mess, you guys have a good day. Holy smokes.